story, two story, condo, B and B. Four bath, one me, no key, like I did a B and E. B and me, so good, so hood, so not worried about it. Hey guys, Mark the Mentor here, and I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and also hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. In this short video, I'm going to give you five commercial insurance companies that you can use for your box truck business. Check with your local state for minimum requirements. I recommend at least a million dollars general liability, at least a million dollars in commercial auto, and at least a hundred thousand dollars in cargo insurance. Now, most commercial insurance companies deal with brokers. So you may have to find a local broker to connect you with a specific insurance company. A broker acts as a liaison between your business and the insurance company. For instance, there may be certain times where, for instance, you may need a uh, certificate of insurance for additionally insured. Um, I deal a lot with the final mile industry. So my trucks are in buildings all the time, like condo associations, management companies, and they want uh, to be added to the policy for that delivery uh, as additionally insured. Meaning uh, if one of, uh, let's say one of my crew went into the building and they slipped and fall, it would indemnify them from any liability. So they wanna be added to the policy. Now, if you're running um, a business like Final Mile, like I am, and you have a fleet of trucks, you're going to get these requests all the time, every week. So um, what's good about a broker is I just have the customers forward that to me. I forward it to the broker. The broker deals with the insurance company. The insurance company adds that additionally insured. They send it back to the broker and the broker sends it back to us and then we can forward it to that management company. So the broker does come in handy, like if you're running final mile a lot, um, the broker's fee comes out of your insurance payment. So the broker's fee, uh, the, the insurance company is responsible for paying the broker out of whatever rate that you pay the insurance company monthly. One more thing before I get into the list of uh, commercial insurance companies, make sure that when you hire drivers, um, especially drivers that you're going to list on your policy, make sure they have a clean driving record. Any occurrences um, that are on specific drivers driving record will affect your rate negatively. All right, so let's get into this list of five commercial insurance company. Now this list that I've comprised are all of uh, commercial insurance companies that I have used in the past or that I am currently still using. Um, out of the five, four of them, you will need a broker in order to sign up with. The only one that you don't need a broker for is the first one, which is Progressive. Progressive, you can go straight to their website and you can sign up and you can get a quote and they have uh, their own brokers in-house. Number two would be Grange Insurance. Number three would be Mercury Insurance. Number four would be Acuity Insurance. And number five would be national liability and fire insurance. Now, out of all those five, obviously progressive is probably going to be the most expensive. So that may not be your first choice. I have used progressive in the past and I still do use progressive uh, for some things and they are expensive. When I did use them in the past, it was kind of by force. Um, that's another thing. When you're running a fleet of truck, things happen. So you kind of always want to have another insurance company in mind because when you're running a fleet of trucks, although you may um, try to hire the best of the best, you can't drive all your trucks. You know what I'm saying? The people behind the trucks aren't gonna treat your trucks like you will treat them. And things happen, accidents do happen. And commercial insurance companies, they can, you know, they're, they're, they're not, um, you know, they'll drop you, you know, they'll drop you or they'll let that insurance policy get to the end of the term and then they won't renew it. So if if, if your company is deemed uh, a, a high liability or let's say you had a truck that got into a serious accident or something, it's a possibility that, that they could they could they could drop you. So you kind of always want to have um, another insurance company uh, in mind. Um, the one year I did use progressive for majority of my business, I, I spent 50 grand. So, um, that year. So you just want to kind of keep that in mind. So that's it guys. That's my list of five commercial insurance companies for your box truck. 
Now you can mix and match or your broker can mix and match. So you don't have to have one company for everything. As a matter of fact, right now I'm using three different companies. So I have one company for my, um, for my general liability. I have one company for my commercial auto and then I have a whole separate company for my, uh, for my cargo. So, you know, when you hire a broker, they're going to find and they're going to play with and try to find you the best deal possible. You know, they have all the connections, they have the network. So that's me personally. That's why I prefer to use a broker. And I've been using the same broker uh, for the past 13 years. So um, that's pretty much it. I created an Instagram. So if you guys have any questions, you can hit me in the DM. I'll leave the link to that Instagram down below. I also got a TikTok. I'll leave that down below as well. Other than that, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. And I'm out. True story, new story, two 